Champions reach power spikes at different points in the game. Some of them offer extremely high base damage early on, so you can build and snowball a lead. Hey what's going on summoners, my name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the strongest early game champions. These champs are infamous for their high damage early game and their ability to snowball through the roof with only a few kills. We'll be breaking down what makes each of these champs powerful as well as giving you an easy build to follow so you can try them out. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, let's take a look at Darius in the top lane. If you've ever tried playing top, you know the pain of getting cheese level 1 by a Darius. His blood stacking passive causes him to burn you for a ton of damage early game. Alongside this, he can take aggressive short trades and heal back up with his Q. Once he reaches level 6, you better hope he doesn't reach max stacks on you or you're as good as dead. Overall, if you need an easy to play top laner that can net you a few early kills, be sure to check out Darius. Diving right into his build, you're gonna want to take Flash and Ghost as your summoner spells. These will help you stick to your target as you run them down with your passive and ultimate. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Bone Plating and Unflinching. These runes will give you a lot of fighting power the longer the fight goes. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Stridebreaker, Plated Steel Caps, Dead Man's Plate, Death Stance, Force of Nature, and finish off with either Sterex or Gargoyle Stone Plate. Moving on to our next pick, we've got Action Top. Action had gained a lot of popularity in the mid lane thanks to his strong trading patterns, great roaming, and amazing wave priority. In the top lane, Action can further take advantage of this by punishing melee top laners whenever they overstep. His passive and Q allow him to deal a ton of chip damage while ensuring that the enemy can't damage him back. Plus, if he ever needs to escape or all in, he can use his E to swing around. Overall, Action can be a pretty difficult pick at first, but with enough practice he can easily dominate the top lane. Taking a look at his build, be sure to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner's spells. This will help you keep the pressure on and look for kills in the early game. For your runes, you'll be taking Press the Attack, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will further empower your quick trades by utilizing your double hit passive with PTA. As for your items, be sure to build Kraken Slayer, Plated Steel Caps, Blade of the Ruined King, Rage Blade, Wit's End, and finish off with Lord Doms for Armor Pen, GA for Survivability, or Rapid Fire Cannon to deal with Squishies. Before we continue on to our next champion, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new course and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry, we have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive back into the video. Up next, we've got Olaf in the jungle. After his update, Olaf lost a bit of early game dueling power but gained a ton of mid game potential. That being said, he's still easily one of the strongest early game duelists out there. His passive, paired with his low Q cooldown, allows him to absolutely shred enemies. Pair this with Last Stand and his healing and you've got someone who can take any fight and come out on top. Overall, if you're looking for a strong fighter that scales hard and dominates team fights, be sure to check out Olaf. Diving into his build, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner's spells. Feel free to take Ghost instead once you get comfortable enough with his kit and power curve. Also, be sure to take Green Smite as your starting item. Its increased tenacity and shielding is extremely helpful. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear and Approach Velocity. These runes will help you stay in the fight and with approach velocity, you'll be able to chase down targets that try to run away from you. Finally, your items will consist of Gore Drinker, Plated Steel Caps, Death Stance, Moth Malmordius, Sterax, and finish off with your choice of Guardian Angel or Spirit Visage. Moving on to our next pick, we've got Warwick in the jungle. Warwick has usually been a cheese top lane pick thanks to his early game strength and ability to win any 1v1 with Barrier. Thanks to the jungle changes, Warwick is finally able to be picked in the jungle more consistently. He offers a healthy clear with great gank potential. Plus, he can take on nearly anyone that approaches him as he has great innate lifesteal and damage reduction. Overall, if you want an easy jungler that works great as a fighter, be sure you don't look past Warwick. Taking a look at his build, you'll be running Flash and Smite as your summoner's spells. 
you can choose to go either Red Smite for damage or Green Smite for tenacity depending on the enemy team. For your runes, you'll be running Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Celerity, and Water Walking. These runes will give you a lot of dueling power, and thanks to Last Stand, you'll have a huge bump in DPS the lower you get. As for your items, be sure to build Blade of the Rune King, Merc Treads, Jack Show, Titanic Hydra, Thorn Mill, and Spirit Visage. Taking us into the mid lane, we've got Pantheon. With the prevalence of short-range mages and the necessity of tank shred, Pantheon is easily able to take on the role of both. He offers a high amount of early game damage that can guarantee multiple kills in lane as well as in the jungle. Should he gain a lead, he can usually roam the map with his ultimate to snowball other lanes as well as himself. Plus, his kit is pretty basic to learn and you can get used to his playstyle and damage very quickly. Overall, if you need an easy AD champion for the mid lane, be sure to check out Pantheon. Moving on to his build, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. These will make sure you have the damage necessary to secure a solo kill during the laning phase. Your runes will consist of Press the Attack, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Coup de Gras, Transcendence, and Scorch. With these runes, you'll be able to take aggressive trades with your Empowered W and Q. Finally, you'll be building Eclipse, Plated Steel Caps, Black Cleaver, Mauve Malmordius, Death Stance, and Surreal Dust Grudge. If you're facing an AP mid and jungler, be sure to grab Ma a bit earlier for additional protection. For our next mid lane pick, we've got Heimerdinger. Many players feel as if Heimer doesn't offer a powerful early game, but it's simply because they aren't playing him correctly. Besides his insane wave priority due to his turrets, he also offers a ton of damage through poke. With his W, Heimer only has to land one rocket in order to deal a majority of its damage. Over time, this consistent harass gets the enemy low enough that Heimer is borderline ungankable as the jungler will risk running into his turrets and dying. Overall, Heimer is a fairly unique champion that takes practice to pick up, but with a bit of mastery, he can be insanely powerful. Taking a look at his build, you'll be running Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. If you're in a lane where you feel that you can guarantee a few kills, be sure to take Ignite so you can snowball your lead. For your runes, you'll be taking Comet, Mana Flow Band, Celerity, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Minion Dematerializer. These runes will further empower your poke combo by hitting the enemy with Scorch and Comet. As for your items, be sure to build the Andres, Sork Shoes, Zhonyas, Rhylice, Rabidons, and Void Staff. If you need some more percent HP damage and survivability, feel free to replace Void with a Demonic Embrace. Now before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is your favorite pocket pick? Personally, I don't use this anymore, but I used to love playing Queen AD Carry. Her high burst and mobility made her the perfect solution to impacting mid lane and winning the bot lane. Regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comments section down below what your favorite is and why. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video and into the AD carry role, we've got the queen of early game herself, Samira. While Samira's level 1 and 2 aren't necessarily the best, she is a powerful skirmisher upwards of level 3. Her reset potential and overall great damage allow her to easily snowball. Once she reaches 3 items, hardly anyone can stand in her way as she single-handedly wipes fights with a single ultimate. Learning her can be a bit of a challenge at first due to having to know when to engage and how much damage you do. Overall, if you want a champion that's a lot of fun and can potentially 1v9 games off of an early snowball, be sure to check out Samira. Diving into her build, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Exhaust or Cleanse. Exhaust is a great default, but if you're facing a lot of CC or you're concerned the enemy will run Exhaust, then feel free to take Cleanse instead. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will give you a nice bit of skirmish power while also increasing your snowball potential with the Domination Tree. Finally, your items will consist of Shield Bow, Plated Steel Caps, Collector, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominix, and finish off with your choice of GA or Death Dance. Moving on to our next early game AD carry, we've got Lucian. While Lucian is mostly known for his OP pairing with Nami, he has quickly become a self-sufficient AD carry. His early burst damage allows him to chunk enemies and gain an HP lead until he can kill them. Once he gains a lead, Lucian is able to itemize into damaging items that allow him to quickly dash towards opponents, delete them, and dash away. While his kit is simple at first, he definitely offers a fun skill ceiling that you can take your time learning more about. Overall, if you want a bursty, light-wielding AD carry, be sure to check out Lucian. 
Taking a look at his build, you'll be running Flash in your choice of Exhaust or Cleanse. Most enemies run Exhaust versus Lucian due to his damage being front-loaded, so Cleanse is usually best to deal with it. For your runes, you'll be taking First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Presence of Mind, and Legend Bloodline. These runes will help you deal bonus damage in the early game, as well as grant you additional gold. Be sure to start W in lane so you can take full advantage of this rune at level 1. For your items, you'll be building Gale Force, Berserker's Greaves, Rapid Fire Cannon, Navori Quick Blades, Lord Dominic's Regards, and finish off with either Guardian Angel or Bloodthirster. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be hard, and sometimes you'll need help or just someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Pulling us to the end of the video, as well as into the support role, we've got Karma Support. Karma has made a massive comeback during the preseason due to her great synergy with meta bot laners and her overall early game presence. She offers strong wave control and damage that can really help out in the early levels. With her mantra, she can adapt to any situation that arises. Her RQ can chunk the enemy and shove the wave. Her RW can bait the enemy and heal Karma. And her RE can shield her and her allies for a massive amount. Overall, if you want an enchanter that plays lane as aggressively as a mage, then look no further than Karma. Taking a look at her build, be sure to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. This will give you bonus kill power in lane, but if needed, you can opt for Exhaust instead. Your runes will consist of Comet, Mana Flow Band, Absolute Focus, Scorch, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you a nice bit of sustain as well as early bonus damage. Finally, your items will be Shirelius, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Staff of Flowing Water, and Watchful Wardstone. Don't forget to start with a Spell Thief so you can get wards as soon as possible. Last, but certainly not least, we've got Brand Support. Brand is notorious for the amount of damage he is able to deal to carries and tanks alike. He offers high base damage that also deals percent HP. Similar to Karma, he can use his abilities to easily shove waves and help his AD carry manage them. With his bonus damage, Brand can become the carry in lane with even a single kill, and if you need to shred tanks, he can do it with ease. Overall, if you want something a bit more aggressive than Karma, Brand is the perfect choice for pressuring your enemies. Diving into Brand's build, be sure to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spell so you can get some early kills. For your runes, be sure to take Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Mana Flow Band, and Scorch. This will let you play extremely aggressively against the enemy while also giving you bonus snowball power thanks to the Domination Tree. For your items, you'll be grabbing Leandris, Sork Shoes, Rylice, Demonic Embrace, and Zhonyas. Don't be fooled, your items may seem like they're purely tank shred, but Brand will burn down any foe he encounters. Make sure to start the game with a Spell Thieves so you can get wards as soon as possible. And that sums up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.